horizons. <laughs> Sorry. We're we... doing a sequel two from Marie's beautiful paintings, her canvases. Sorry that we lost you during sequel one, but we're back to show you now her gorgeous paintings. Yeah, we're so, so excited. Us. We're so excited for you to see these beautiful creations. Deb, if you want to pick one Absolutely. up here, let's show. Absolutely. Here's one of Marie's paintings. We have the floral theme. Take a look Do you want to tell us gorgeous. anything about that, Marie? Marie? Is any, any well, anything actually, on? actually, I've painted everything from uh, petunias to formal portraits. So, a wide variety of subject matter. Yes. Okay, that's, that's a beautiful one. Flower. This, this I kind of abstracted the background. De now Deb's going to be like Vanna White for us oh, here. Oh, wow. Here we go. Without <laughs> now, the, turning on now, look at these two portraits. I apologize here. There we go. Now, this one, Marie's going to tell us a little bit about. Well, this is my father-in-law. Um, I was taught the technique of the old masters. This is uh, Leopoldo Girardi that I was an instructor when I was in New Orleans. He taught me the technique of the old masters. Look at that. It looks like, a, looks like a photograph. And, it's uh, just beautifully done. So this is my father-in-law. Okay. Beautiful. And, and then we have I another had, portrait. I had done made portraits when I did that. One. Another family okay. member. Here we go. Gorgeous. Here we this, go. This is a real old master. This was my. Uh, this my belongs father, in the white my house. Father's, I mean, my husband's grandfather. Imagine. This, this was my full, first portrait, but I think the only thing good about it is his, is his beard. This. No, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Once again, it looks like a photograph. It's so so realistic. What a talent, Absolutely. Marie. Absolutely. We're going to put this away, and I think we should go right over to. What do you think? With, which oh, yes, we had to tell the story, M Marie, about the, your friend in Bag Baghdad. This is very, this is very amazing. interesting, and it has a gorgeous story to it. And Marie, Look at if you painting. would. This is from my, <clears throat> from my imagination. Um, I have a friend that was living in Baghdad um, that I got acquainted over the Internet with her. And, uh, and she was, we corresponded. She sent me pictures of told me about her family life and so forth. But anyway, she said her main goal in life was to protect her children. So I sort of created this painting. It's not a portrait of her, but uh, it's a, a woman in Baghdad protecting her child and the fires in the background. Just this was very done mostly with a palette knife. But I still correspond with her. It's a very, very sad story. So sometimes I just make up paintings. Um, either from something I've heard or from my imagination. I just want to go further into this story because it's fascinating, Marie. Come, come into the, oh, pic okay. the picture. Okay. Because Marie had met this woman over the internet and uh, they, they corresponded and the story began. And this woman was a Christian family in right, Baghdad, right. correct? Okay. And to just tell that story about, the, the, as we know, it's very difficult for a woman to live in, in Baghdad. So she, this poor woman had to endure the uh, the government bureaucracy there, where w women are not allowed to actually uh, engage in any occupations, and then uh, they came to her home. You said they, she told you they came into her home. Uh, yeah, they came into into her home, and uh, her her father um, was a scholar of the different religions, and he had a huge library. They came in and tore the books down off the shelves and threw them in the floor and stomped on them. And she even sent me a picture of, uh, of one that, with a footprint of the man that had... And they took him away. He was tortured and came back... Uh, we we can't even there. imagine how those poor people have to live in, in other countries. We, yes. That's why we appreciate our own country so much. Where You can exercise yes. your freedom of religion. Yes. And we have freedom of speech. But it just the, the thought that you painted this beautiful... Uh, painting just from your imagination, but this represents that woman and child. And there's fire in the background here. Well, right? the you know the burning building, right. you know, just right. uh, just indicate, right. just indicate the story. Just love that. Now I would like to present this absolutely stunning magenta. Oh, what in the world? Look it's at this. gorgeous. <laughs> Another flower. <And> Marie, <laughs> tell us about this. Well, a gallery commission wanted me to do some large paintings for the gallery uh-huh and um, so he took them but then like two weeks later his son who was a partner called and told me that uh, to come and get the paintings 
So he overruled his father, apparently. So I had I brought this one back home. <laughs> but I did Wonderful. several large paintings like this of florals. There's a couple more of uh, more vertical. Uh, the colors on this are really beautiful. Aren't they though? This stuff. But I, I also do abstracts. Um, Just wanted to show another scene here. This one. This is a, a beautiful one. Well, that's one I've just sort of played around with recently. She says, play I love her. I love the landscapes, and <laughs> I, I'm partial to landscapes with people in them. Uh, this is a uh, gentleman fishing. It's just beautiful. Yeah, my husband told me one time when I was training. Talk about He's bright horizons. We have another. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. What did your husband it's say? Okay. He, he, um, I'd painted a painting when I was studying in New Orleans, and, and he said, well, it, it needs uh, something alive in it. I said, no, the trees are alive, the grass is alive, <laughs> <laughs> the birds are alive. <laughs> so he was talking about having a person yeah, in it? Yeah, he was like a person in it, too. And, and I love well, the, um, the paintings that you have with purple. Um, the, the, the purples are so beautiful. It's just dying. Um, oh, oh this, yeah, that's a New Orleans painting. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Look at New Orleans. Love the moss from on the trees. This is so characteristic. This of is a cover from uh, my book, yes. Spanish Moss. Yes, this is the cover from that book, Spanish Moss. There is a folks. a picture. Show them. Come that. into this. Come into the view here again, Marie. Oh. Toward me. Toward me. Oh, I'm sorry. Right where? I don't see it. That one right there. The, that one. You can. That's. that's the one. That's. Let me tell that story. Okay. Heavy. I've never tried to sell this it's a painting beautiful frame on this too. because it's uh, you may not recognize it, but this is Princess Di's island, and oh. I painted this right after she died. And uh, you remember her her brother took um, the boat, the canoe out with flowers, so I used the the image of the island, but I didn't put I just put a few flowers in the in the foreground. Oh. But this people have told me that this reminds them of a Monet. Yes, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And this is sort of the technique I was taught in my early training. But since then, I paint more impressionistically and even do uh, uh, palette my paintings and more abstract things. This but is I've never tried to sell sense. this painting. Does, do, you, do you give them uh, titles? Does this have Princess a Dye's Island. Princess Dye's Island. Princess Dye's Island. Island. Princess Island. 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 Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Island. Oh, I also added a little, like the sunset in the background. Yes. Like the day was dying, yes, you know, just beautiful. to give it and to give it a little more color. If you were to see the amount of beautiful canvases, what about your beautiful husband? Yes, we want to turn now. The, the, the well, lighting is it might change, so let's come around here. You have to come around here. Way, you have to look at yep. it from over there. Come around here. Way over there. Yeah. Or you'll get it back. You get it. Come over here. Okay. This, this is Marie with her husband, Dr. Norman Pinchman. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the painting. When did you do that? Well, this was also one of my very early paintings. Let me move it over that way. Stand over that way. It gets a backwash. Anyway, I painted this back in the late sixties, and uh, he had he posed for me, of course, and uh, so that was part of my training. Another one I say looks like a photograph. That's how talented Marie is. Just beautiful. I also did. Let me do this. Yep. I also did. Uh, a painting of the a former dean of uh, at Tulane, oh. and he had just he came to sit for me, and he had just gotten back from a European trip, and the poor guy went to sleep while he was posing. <laughs> oh, oh my! <laughs> but it's now hanging in uh, Tulane he Medical School. He was tired. It's, no, it's, it's, it's hanging in Tulane Medical it's School. Yellow. Amazing. Did you wake him up or let him sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Let's come around. Okay, I'll probably okay. woke you up or make Come in noise. here, Deb. Okay. So anyway. We, once again, we just thank you for joining us today. Just an inspiration to be with Marie. Marie, and really and truly. It's my pleasure. And what a difference a day makes. This day is going to make a what difference in our lives difference. and in other in your lives. We certainly we want to sing do. our song. We want to sing our song. Uh, and what, what a difference a day makes. Twenty four little hours. hours. Brought the sun and the flowers where there used to be rain. What a difference a day makes. 
and the difference is you and you and you. You, you better believe you make a difference. And thank you so much for uh, joining we, us we today. We appreciate you being Maria, with us. Maria, once again, we've said it several times. Thank, thank you for inviting us you, in your beautiful you. home and sharing thank your gorgeous you. talent. Thank you. And uh, You're an it's a blessing. To us. An inspiration and a blessing to us. So it's thank you. It's never too late to learn something new. That's Do you hear right. that? It's never, ever too late. We hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Enjoy the rest of the day. And we promise you we'll see you next week. Also, never to forget to keep your horizons, horizons bright. bright. We love you. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. I just have to thank you. <laughs> Been doing it a little differently this week. So thank you for joining us.